Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we get to start a new unit, which is looking at the analysis of one quantitative variable. So remember that quantitative data is a meaningful number. Sometimes it has units connected to it. You can calculate an average or differences. So we're going to be looking at some numeric summaries for it, as well as some graphical displays. So this is all descriptive statistics, just like we had in the last unit when we were looking at the analysis of categorical data. That means that we're not doing any inferences. Those are further units. Stay tuned for those. Now, with the numeric summaries, we'll be looking at percentiles, the five number summary, range, uh, the numbers in the five number summary, which is the maximum, Q3, the median, Q1, and the minimum, we'll be looking at box plots, which is a graphical display of the five number summary. We'll be looking at means, which is um, a synonym for the word average. We will be comparing means and medians. Uh, and then we'll be talking about how to describe a distribution. So looking at histograms and box plots and thinking about what's the best way to describe it. And there are four areas that we'll use to describe a distribution, including the center, the variability, uh, the shape, and whether or not there are outliers. We'll have discussions on outliers and what those are and what they can potentially do to data. We'll also talk about the measurements variance, standard, um, standard deviation, and deviation. And we'll talk about how those are used and how to calculate them. And then we'll start to get into the normal distribution and we'll talk about some characteristics or traits of the normal distribution, including some things that you can use when you see that data is normally distributed, uh, like the empirical rule and calculating z-scores. And then we'll look at different graphs and talk about how to compare groups. So also with everything that we're looking at with the one quantitative variable, I'll be showing you how to do these calculations with uh, the computing package R. Can't wait to get started. We'll see you in future videos.